I want to show you here now how you're going to actually create um, a fringed edge on a piece of knitting. In this we've just got a very small swatch um, but it's just been done to show you what the very end of the this, this scarf that I had done Aruba will look like. With this one you're going to knit the first six stitches um, and you'll bind off, in this case it's just one on the Aruba but it's a few more here and then the final stitches are going to be left on this side. And then what you're actually going to do is drop these stitches and these stitches down to let them unravel and then knot the resultant yarn. So I'm just going to pull these off and we're going to start unraveling the stitches down one side. Now this is probably kind of scary because no one really likes unraveling their work but once you've actually tied knots in it, it keeps things very secure. So with this I'm actually just going to unravel the first two this is going to make a fairly big fringe because it's much thicker yarn than the actual um, shawl is. So with those I've got this set of two and this set of two and I'm going to knot them together here. And pull them right up against the edge of the work. And you can see that's going to keep it nice and secure here. And then you're just going to continue working your way down like that. It's easier if you just actually knot as you go because then you know you won't miss any and it'll also stay secure and there's no danger of the edge of this get coming loose. So here is our next one. And we're just going to take those four again and do the very same as we did before. Um, you can make these bigger if you want. You can maybe knot six together if you prefer. Just the four is my preference. Um, sometimes people as well even go ahead and cut the edges. You can cut the ends of these so that you've got a loose fringe. You could do it either before or after you do the knotting. But you just keep going like that and you work down to the end of this and you would do the very same over here on the other side. You can see you'll also, this is just uh, the tail from my bind off so you just weave that in. Or if you want you could also leave it loose to, to which fit in with the, with the actual edging. So that's all that's involved. I, I think that's probably enough to, to show you how it works. Um, so it is very secure here and they're not going to come loose at all.